We should, yeah, we should, but, like, but we are back and they can see us now. So. It should be like Gavin's suppressed face. You oh, and you're like, not Gavin either, so let's fix that. It would be Ooh, really cool not. if we could like take like the top winners from the previous week's artwork oh, and put back. it on the back oh. behind us. Like, I think that would be like a fantastic. I think that would be yeah. outstanding. Right? Welcome See, everyone. I somehow have good ideas I'm to the uh, the high res art show. Oh, are we live? Yeah. yeah. Are we live? We've been live. live. <laughs> I'm just live. like blabbing. All right. So. Welcome. I am high res. Oh wait, now you're introducing. No, you you've already started. So go ahead, continue. The high res killer. Uh, right? <laughs> Is that what I sound like? It's high res thumb. Uh, thumb. Is that, uh, <laughs> it looks like Pinky. a thumb. Think about it. Uh, hello guys, it was, I'm Hi Res Kayla and we, over here we have Hi Res Anna, or she's up, I don't know where she is on the screen, and then and Gavin here, baby hands Gavin, and um, this is the community art show that we have every Thursday at, oh, normally yeah. it's at 4 o'clock, but we pushed it to 4.30 this week, so sorry if there's any like time inconvenience or whatnot, <laughs> but um, this is basically a time where we get to show off fan art that you guys submit to us, and that Yay. can be anything from like food or to 3D butts. modeling, or to butts, to butts, to butts, <laughs> but on butt, on butt, on butts. And anyways, welcome back, Kayla. Yay! Welcome back to me. <laughs> I was not here last week, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's fun. So, oh, since I wasn't here last week. Um, since that person yeah. wasn't here last week, that it broke person. my heart and forced me to uh, co-host with this guy. That would suck. Sucks. Um, yeah. I'll give you guys a quick recap on what we did last week. We went over the challenge pieces from the prior week, which was Steampunk, your favorite god, and you guys really delivered. You rocked with some it. some amazing it awesome. pieces. They were just super impressive. Oh, yeah, I did watch it. You guys did a great job. Oh, yeah, she was trolling hard. She's like, yeah, my name's Keela. I'm on here. Um, <laughs> but Hashtag butts. Or I, yes, I, hashtag butts. I never please. said anything about butts. It's the word of the day, butts. You know, we should start butts. that. We should do that. What? Every, word of the every, day. yeah, we should do a word of the day um, that people just hashtag the hell out of it and they could, like, get gems or something. I don't know. Something funny. <laughs> so I let's um, let's talk about what we're going to do today. First off, um, now that they're done with their little intro, we're going to tell you about the challenge, okay. mostly last week's challenge and this week's challenge. We're not going to have you guys vote on it this week because uh, this week we actually tweeted out using the uh, Smite Art Show Twitter it's for good. suggestions. We took one of your suggestions. It's going to be one of the challenges for this week. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the deal. Um, please remember, if you have a Twitter, follow us because we, we have lots of stuff that we do. We send in, uh, like we retweet art, we ask for feedback, yes, we post ask links for challenges, to cool art so brushes, and like... We post our some... home address so you guys can I, come visit I posted us. a giant, I don't do that. huge oh, PNG oh, cool. version of the okay. Smite logo for anyone to use. Did you so post that? Yeah. Awesome. Good. Plenty, plenty of cool stuff. stuff for you guys. Yep. You just got to follow us so we can spread the word about Twitter. the art show. Yep. Smite um, art show. Smite art show. After we go over I all the challenges, know. we're going to go <laughs> straight into the art because Chat. we once again got <laughs> an <laughs> unprecedented amount of submissions for this week. Chad is expecting <laughs> gems out of this now, <laughs> Lena. Oh <my laughs> you God. started. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, yeah, I guess, you know like, put hashtag buns <laughs> and you might get some gems. Hashtag buns. I'm so happy. Um, so yeah, sorry to interrupt Gavin. Gavin's like super business today. He's just not having well, it. Well, because actually, that's, I'm I trying actually, to get to the most well, important really part. Oh, right. you're saying, so. Like after oh. the art show, after oh. we're done, oh. Rory's oh. coming on with a with an announcement that's oh. gonna be awesome. So oh, yeah. Gotta, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you guys gotta right. be okay. there for okay. that. Butts announcement. Hashtag butts announcement. Not. <laughs> All right, but so yeah, I'm going to let, without further ado, let's talk about, uh, and I, let's, what was last week's challenge? Last week's challenge that we gave you guys was to, well, we gave you guys a poll, and everyone uh, voted on the horror um, style god. Like, you take a very, very iconic horror movie monster or character, and you... It's like horror movie you're style. God into it. A god. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Horror movie style, scary movie style god, and we have some great submissions and obviously like we did last week guys we're gonna jump right into community arts just to let you know uh, it won't be like this for long we will go back to doing warm-ups and drawing and, and tutorials and, being silly and, and tutorials and everything and give you guys more mm -hmm. content but for now how we have just an influx of artwork we're gonna just go ahead and focus on that for a little bit yeah we would like so, to, to, to focus on you guys for a little yeah while. we want to focus on you 
Hey, what's the what's your yeah. name? Guys, really, hashtag what's bugs will not get you anything. <laughs> it really it, won't. It'll bring you bring you joy. And it might draw you some gems. I'll draw you some gems. <laughs> some gems on bugs. I don't know how like hopeful that that's will on be. Gems on gems on but yeah, it's the hit song of the nineties. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. <laughs> Let's go right into it before the right. sugar overload takes the two of them away from us. Sugar. I just had, sugar. I just had, I just had, had a good day. A whole pack. Okay. Well, yeah, there's two of them in there. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Okay. Oh, well, let's. Is Harris here? Harris is Harris. my favorite. He's She's my sucking babe. up to you. She's sucking up. No, I'm not. Right, let's let's, yeah, let's yeah, look yeah, at our, our first. Suck up face. All right. This one, you would think it's actually a kind of insulting but i have seen upwards of like five people that look like this in georgia alone like don't don't, don't be walmart too, after dark yeah, yeah don't don't be too insulted by this this is by abdur quadri and he's giving us a nice um Kumba carne murka skin and this is hysterical <laughs> that eagle in the background gavin's personal favorite <laughs> is the epic uppercut yeah amazing i really and really so like you? the hamburger pole arm yeah. Like, that's pretty amazing. I just like that he's holding it in the back, like the grogi, grogi strike. <laughs> the groggy strike, I think that's what he Yeah, it's yeah, supposed yeah, to be groggy strike. Groggy, mm -hmm. yeah, the gro grogi. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. And it's uh, reminiscent of most of my youth and the five, seeing the people five like this in Walmart. I like the five oh, yeah. shadow. And then uh, Kaylee mentioned Whatever the, the, the shadow is for the, the happy yeah. trail. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? It's because Did the pants can go up high. <laughs> He's already been to an XXL store. They can't do it. So this is hilarious. Thank you, Abdor Quadri, for this one. Yes. I'm happy we went with Raw America instead. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that was a nice safer bet. <laughs> All right. This one's by Alessandra God Godoy. Godoy. Um, and this is just like a nice pixely Freya sword. Yeah. I imagine. On graph paper. Not actual graph paper, but on, you know, the computer. Hey, man, you know, once you get so used to doodling during math class, you just, you just like, you start really having to do it in digital space, too. Yeah. <laughs> Geometry is, like, the most precise my drawings ever were. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 <That's> a lot. <laughs> so, good job, Alessandra. This is really cool, and, and good detail on the rough edges and everything like that on the sword. Yes. Alicia Hartman gave us two. Um, and they were the challenge. Actually, um, four submissions. I just could only oh. fit two onto the one slide. Oh, so never mind. We'll go through with the next few. And, and that brings up kind of like challenges. another point. If you guys draw a lot, like, don't submit, like, six to 20 drawings yeah. in one week. Yeah. Because, like, we have to make room for everybody that kind of submits art to us and stuff like that. Yeah. So, like, kind of keep it to, like, maybe one challenge piece and Try one, like, normal it. original piece and stuff like that. Yeah. And... And I think that would work better and work more in your favor of getting your art shown. But we do keep all of the art. For yeah. The future keep it down to like one that. submission uh, per art show. Yeah. If you have multiple that you want to show, so just just do that because every challenge is relevant for every show. It, it doesn't. It's not like oh, this is just this challenge for this show, and you cannot yeah. submit anymore. Like really, it just it goes for yeah. If, all you, of if it. you see like if you go back and look through like old shows and stuff like that, and you see a challenge that you're like, oh man, I wish I would have watched that and participated in it. You still can. You can still submit yep. the challenge idea. You Absolutely. know, in the future, just because it was there for last week doesn't mean you can't do it for this week. But yeah, this one is uh, is really cool. It's to do with the challenge. It's um, I guess uh, Jason Voorhees. But really sexy style nemesis, uh, nemesis, mm -hmm. and then um, Bastet as Freddy Krueger. <laughs> One, two, kitty's coming for you. Hilarious. Good job, Alicia like Hartman. Alicia was killing it. Over. Normally we don't do this, but we wanted to show all of her stuff because oh, it was yeah, yeah. it was creepy. It was really good, and it's also to do with the challenge. So we're just like the creativity is awesome. This is obviously <laughs> Scylla as I think the girl from The Ring or The Grudge or something. I don't I've never know, seen those creepy. movies. I think it's The Ring because of the yeah. yeah circular. Um, and it's really cool because this piece, instead of her dogs, it's her hair. Because I think in the Grudge was it that, that it was like a hair monster. Yeah, or something, yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. So good job, Alicia. These are really great. Another one of hers. This one's actually my favorite one. Um, it's taken from American Psycho. It's called Egyptian Psycho, and it's Neith about to just own Aphrodite. Because if you can see her reflections in the knife. The reflection in the knife is a really good touch. Yeah. Really yeah. cool. It actually adds a lot of story to it. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see American Psycho get some love. Anita Gorniak scared the living poop out of me with this one. His I, nose. Ugh. His nose. It's is just so the, like it's the wrinkles around the nose that are horrifying. It's like he has gills on his face. <laughs> but this is actually excellent because it did what we wanted it to do, which it's is creep us good, out so thoroughly. It's and good, but you, it's creepy. Like, you got that like put your favorite 
smite character in a like horror flick as the bad guy, and that's what's. Going I don't down. think I can look Chucky. at Cupid the same anymore. Like Chucky actually uh, made made a, a grand entrance in this challenge. You guys oh yeah, we got a lot of stuff. So yeah, um, but so yeah, this is actually really awesome and scary. The challenge was, uh, by the way, guys, for you turning in was like Friday the Thirteenth, like spooky. Yeah, it was f- s- s- Friday the Thirteenth yeah. about horror movie. Put your favorite god or yeah. gods yeah. into horror movie theme, either as the. Uh, the villain, or as the, uh, I guess, victims. Yeah. Yep. This would, I mean, this honestly would probably make a good Halloween skin and something like that. Oh, yeah. Do you know that last uh, Friday the 13th, that's the last one for the next, like, 40-something years? I know, I read something like that. It's insane. No, no, it's the last one with a full moon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, it's the last one with a full moon. Okay. This one is my personal Uh, favorite. Annie V, as you guys know, if you guys are, are frequent watchers, uh, this girl just kills it with her with her detail and also with just the looseness of her color mm-hmm. and her lines and she still makes the piece just fantastic. And this is both really horrifying funny. and absolutely hilarious. It's yeah, taken it from the nineteen sixties <laughs> movie. The birds was the nineteen sixties? I have no idea. Okay, well, no the, idea. You know, a horror movie if you guys are, are um, familiar with it, uh, called The Birds and they just went and uh, made it hilarious. <laughs> it's Aphrodite being attacked by a bunch of raws and a cute yeah. little crow body. It's pretty good. It's pretty I saw really the eyes. Good. The yeah. eyes are like... Yeah. <laughs> it's, got like it's got like a bird version of the, f- the frog face going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. perfect. <laughs> it's so good. This is just absolutely So brilliant. many raw beans. Oh, man. So absolutely many. brilliant. Great job, Annie V. And the coloring, as always. And good job on her hands, too. Like, yeah. They're oh. very, like, stressed and, like... They're on point, really. Yeah, they really they're so loose. The lines are like more yeah. of a sketch than anything, and she still manages to kill it. <laughs> Good job, Annie B. Marry me, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> Bay S is actually a fantastic artist. Killed it last Gave week with a like steampunk like Neith, Neith mm-hmm. and now we have a young, I think it was Baby Al Kong. Was yeah, that was, yeah. yeah, that was the a, a little Al Kong. Really Lovely cute, piece. and Kayla actually really liked the yeah, colors. Yeah, I, I really love I love the color palette that you chose for this, and I also really like the simple background that yes. you have, how you kind of made it more graphic design, and it just like blocks. I did like that, like that too. 1963 yeah, really Alfred cool. Hitchcock. Thank you, chat. Good. You're wonderful. 1963. Okay, chat, yeah. chat is always there. I for was us. Right. They really are. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, <laughs> chat. I love you so much. Um, so yeah, this one's really well done, and uh, the background. Is the excellent. segmented background also just gives it a kind of a more I don't know. Just it's more yeah. Clean. That's, that's like yeah. probably one of the things I like about most. Yeah. It really makes it. It makes the character pop out more. Yeah, it does. You know, it just with two white lines and having a white border really yeah. frames mm-hmm. out this Alcon piece. It's beautiful. Very professional, Bay. Good job, Bay. Good job. Uh, Beatrice Winter gave us the super traditional. I think it's just colored pencils, and that's it. A zombie Scylla. Yay! Zombie. I still want to do a zombie challenge in the future. Have some. Well, you know. Yeah. yeah, Zombie face. Oh, I guess they. they, they, Can you just stay? Maybe I can. What? 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 What are these days? Don't worry about it. What are these days? Bam! Zoom straight to the. See how hard my fist is shaking. (laughs) Um. All right. This one's by Bojan Krunik. Sorry about your name. I'm just like, (laughs) you're gonna get that. You you have like one of those names. I'm just going to ruin it. (laughs) Um, and this is just a really cool little traditional sketch of Geb. I think it's pencil yeah. with colored pencil on top. Yeah. And it's simple, and that's just to show that we really love seeing, we like seeing all kinds yeah. of art, all kinds of skill levels. Yeah. If you guys put the time into it, and I think Bojan put in, like sent in a ton of submissions. We, had, we oh, looked yeah. through all of them, but we like this one the most. So. And he took some of them from the card art, he took some of them from in-game, and this one we really like because I feel this one was more of his own and not so much taken from something. So, yeah. Good job, Bojan. And Brittany K. Uh, these two beautiful pieces. One of them, the uh, the, the Thanatos, the Thanatos oh, one. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. The Kronos. Get ready calm for down. Chad to be like, it's Kronos. Calm, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Um, um, I'm waiting for Chad. I'm waiting for Chad. Yeah, I'm waiting for it too. But the Kronos one uh, looks like watercolory, and, and Gavin really liked it for the I, I, I don't know what I it is about this one, but I absolutely love this piece. And it's there's more to it than just the the composition in itself it blends so well with all of its colors i don't know it's it's really vibing with me right now <laughs> it'll print it out or something thank you I don't the know. super job it is do, do you want to marry it yeah that's <laughs> yeah. it how about that yeah Brittany K, you need to come yeah. into the studio because gavin totally and bring wants this to so i can i can marry your your art piece no, psh, come on. take you on a <laughs> seafood dinner and never call you again name that movie anyways um and then to the Left, right? Um, so there's right. It? No, it's the right, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Right, but so this is a predator bogosura. Like, hmm. Okay, <laughs> we don't need directions. It's okay. All right, this is a predator bogosura, and this one's a very, very cool. We haven't seen this before, and it's um kind of awesome if you think about it. it actually, bogosura really does fitting. have like the you know the tentacles coming yeah. out, and predator is known to have like those weird dreads. So it's actually pretty, pretty fitting. Fantastic. Good job, Brittany. Is that, is that really how you spell Brittany? Brittany. Yep, that's how they submitted it. Oh, yeah. okay. uh, double check to make sure, and I didn't spell it wrong. Cool oh, thank you guys for getting my reference. I love you guys so much. Um, <laughs> all right, and this one's by Seska Dulona, and she actually submitted this piece to us, and it's Nuwa and Kronos together, and Kronos is like, I'm not sure about it, and she's like, come on, shh, just calm down. Um, and then she gave us an after piece where she colored it digitally, I imagine, yeah. and gave us that awesome new logo. There is the new love. logo, Gavin. Are you happy? You, have no, happy you really you? don't understand how happy I am. Gavin's happy. Like, Dude, it's wonderful. Seeing there are professional logo. game journalists that still get our logo wrong. The oh, fact that our yeah. fan artists can get it right just proves how happy. silly Amazing. they are. Right? Like, <laughs> ugh. It's like the they journal research is on Yeah, chat. seriously. Like, it's like, <laughs> if the fan artist can get the logo right, a uh, professional game journalist should be able to get it right. That's that's, that's all I'm saying. That's, that's all true. I'm saying. That's, that's all I'm saying. Chat right that's true. He's just, like, he's blushing so hard. I hate this guy. There's this guy. Well, we gotta go. Yeah. But yeah, so a uh, really cool job, and uh, the gear work and everything in Kronos is amazing. The shine that you got on the silver parts. Yeah, we know how much Good. like detail like that. And you picked yeah. probably one of the two most detailed gods to put together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> scales and gears. Scales oh, and yeah. gears. Good job. All right, guys. Just uh, for some of you people in chat, Dry Bear is after us right now. It's the art show, so calm down. Yeah, right after us, Dry Bear has got a, a big ass announcement. And then the big announcement. It's gonna be good. So calm down. And chat. If anybody asks about Dry Bear, you can just tell them. Cause yeah, chat. Tell them. Tell them. Tell tell right now, we're doing art, guys. Art right. time. So Let's talk about this piece because it's by Cher Shen. Exception. And this is beautiful. I love that we're getting more um, Artemis artwork because she's just yes. really a, a god that isn't shown Please, a lot. Thank you. And she is beautiful in this piece. The detail is amazing. The boar's fur down to the arrows glow, uh, down to the trees in the background, which remind me a lot of your style. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. The trees. So this is beautiful and super well done. Thank you so much, Sharon. My my I favorite thing about it, honestly, is the boar. Like Tusky, it really, really, really. Tusky's out. been hitting the gym. Yeah, and maybe he, he has been lifting. Because in boar the game, like, like, like I, I mean, like Artemis adorable. is great and stuff yeah. like that. She has a lot of awesome detail. But I don't know. I really like the strong, the pose of Tusky and stuff like that, and yeah. the way that. He kind of fades in with the lighting. I will say though, the so point source light. lighting of those arrows on the rest of her outfit, the blue yeah. green teal yeah. mix that it makes, it's and gorgeous. also on Tusky's fur, just so on point. And also yeah. the uh, the color, um, the overlays, in which you have like a, a grayish blue over here, and then you have like a, a lighter um, white to contrast. I think that's so cool because yep. it's the creepiness of the woods, and then the the shining of light. I guess for her, about to like kill something. I don't know. It's just amazing. It makes me so happy. Gavin should hit the gym. Gavin should hit the gym. Hashtag Gavin should hit the gym for his hands. Can you imagine? It's just like a tiny, a tiny little, uh, little, um, dumbbell set. Don't you think like him, like, him, like, clicking on a mouse is like... I have to use both hands to click. You do? Shut up! Don't. Do you have a special mouse? Like yeah, a I do. Cat it's mouse? like an itty bitty. It's it's. It's a Barbie I, mouse. I got someone to be yeah. a doctor. <laughs> yes. I got an engineer to <laughs> take a Barbie mouse and then yeah. make it work. Wow, it's like what? And I use that. Wire in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's let's move uh, on. Chris English gave us a really cool chabalanque, um, in in front of the moon as he is, moon god, um, mm -hmm. and really awesome. And he's peeking through a fence, I think. He's adorable. <laughs> well done. Good job. He's like, I see you. I see you there. Oh, God. Crazy. On the, that five pack. <laughs> I love this <laughs> Such one. a five, five pack. pack. I was like, wait, is that a six pack? Oh, no, wait. It's, it's a, a five pack. pack. <laughs> Crazy on Gaming gave us this really cute little rock. Time for your daily dose of vitamin D. <laughs> Winky smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's go on to the next one. Good job. Good job there. All right. Um, Sarni Tony. Uh, this really cool Emir, and I, I imagine it's to do with uh, with the horror challenge we gave you guys, because it's horrifying. Those eyes are horrifying. But the Groke. 
I don't understand what that is. What's the Grok? I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. It looks like some other kind of beast. But I like the middle panel a lot. Yeah. I like I like that it's in pretty spooky. In so thanks for that. <laughs> Good job, Zarny Tony. And also the lighting was great. I like the lighting. The, the background is really Colors pretty. Are great. Mm -hmm. We got another Ymir. Dominique Thelemen. He's like there. Thelemen. <laughs> um, this is traditional pencil with colored pencil, I imagine. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just really cool. It's cool. You cool. Oh, you cool. Yeah. Ymir's cool. Th oh, he's the coolest. He's oh the God. coolest. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you don't have a fear of clowns. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I, I do, personally. But, um, yeah, I dealt with this. Doreen Patet gave us this horrifying, terrifying it, the mana. They all float down here. <laughs> Scary. Frightening. Um, but this is taken from the movie It, yep. where it's a clown living in the sewers, and Bomana um, is in here, and he's just terrifying. And I want to go to the next one. Go. I've Ooh. never actually even seen that movie. Jesus. I know. This I'm name. I feel, <laughs> like, I feel like at this it. point, people in chat are just like smashing their faces on the keyboard, just... just Despite me. Or they're yeah. contacting all their friends in like the Netherlands and like, like Sweden oh, and stuff you like that. Draw this. But they're like so really <laughs> hardcore <laughs> Norse names and Oh no. Alright guys, I'm gonna try. This is uh, one of the labors that Hercules had to uh, uh, partake in, and it was the Hydra. And this piece is by Dr 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 Yeah, Dragoljub Kribjanin. Kribjanin. I feel like Drago I believe Krupp. that. Yeah. I'm just going to say that. Drago that's, a, that's a great that's first part of your name, Drago. Yeah, but, I just uh, call you Drago. Yeah. So that actually sounds pretty cool in Drago. Drago Kruplagenin. This is a new but Hercules. But this is awesome. It's the new Hercules. Yeah, the new Hercules. And just like going at those hydra. hydras. Fantastic. And Choking them out, the too. I design, actually, of the hydra. Yep. It's just uh, armless. All the heads are at like cool different angles and stuff oh, like wouldn't that. Wouldn't it be cool if like a hydra design where its heads actually are his arms and help him move along or draw something? It. Oh, I'm gonna draw that. Draw I'm it. gonna draw that for you, Dragon Blood. It's great being an artist, engine. you know. You have an idea, you're like, I'm just gonna create this I'm out of nothing. Draw that. <laughs> um, so yeah, good job on traditional just pencil and the detail. It's very small, but you can see a lot of detail in the club and in his uh, general outfit. So. Great job, Drago. 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 Emily Rigol gave us this really creepy Bastet, um, horror movie Bastet, and I think it's, I don't know what movie it's from, but it's like, I guess, in an attic, so it's Yeah, it kind of does look like it's in Attics spooky. are like the best place to be scared. I, I don't ever or remember actually going into an attic. I went into my attic once and I found a dead squirrel. <laughs> I wanted to rip its tail off and keep it. What? <laughs> what is your I'm, the, I'm the scary person in the house. <laughs> you have like a little rabbit foot keychain too. Like. Oh, I kept asking. I was like, can I like cut it up and see the bones? And they're like, Edna, no, it's fake. Like, no, I'm weird. Let's um, not ever bring up addicts again. Yeah. <laughs> or I, I wasn't scared by them whatsoever. I just was like, are there dead creatures in here? But anyway, um, this one's Fenris Orson and gave us a really cool Vamana. Swole as Just hell Vamana. Whoa, look at his pecs, it's the size of his head. Look Ridiculous. at his teeth. I, I mean, we were this. saying that people weren't giving Vamana love. He he's was like, the, he had the least out. fan art of all the gods And now in the he's game. yelling, he's like, do you love me now? Yes, I do, Vamana. If you look like that, yes, I do. Show Vamana some love. What's up, what's your name is? So, good job, Fenris Orson. This is very creative and very cute. The little umbrella, though. The hands are cute. Yes. <laughs> the <a> little umbrella. <laughs> it's like one of those you stick in your drink. Giant, yeah. giant hands. <laughs> Great job, Fenris Orson. Flynn Metcalf. Uh, Fat Man Kumbakarna. This one's really cool. It's just Batman. It looks like he's lost weight, though. Yeah, it actually Was that a does. girdle? I think that's a girdle. Where? That he's, like, that he's wearing. No, it's not a girl. Is, is, is not a girl? Those? <laughs> no, no, no. You can pretend it is, Gavin. Where? Here? Yeah, the man girl like around his stomach. That Maybe that's why he doesn't look so large. No, like he's it's lost not some a girdle. Weight. It's his, it's his uh, belly button tattoo that he has. Oh, okay. Do you remember? Well, then he's lost yeah. some weight, and that's disappointing. Yeah. Oh, well, no, but it's uh, actually really cute. Fat man, Kumbakarna. I like the text, too. Good, good job on the font. Next. Frederick Hartson gave us his cute little zombie Kayla at the bottom there. <laughs> I and, do like um, the zombie Kayla. J Jerry's. Um, 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 um. Or, you yeah, know, Jason. Jason Voorhees. Um, Jerry's. Jerry's. So, <laughs> his shield. Yeah. His shield. It's, it's a big mask. <laughs> yeah, no, that's very good. I wonder if he'd spit blood instead of fire. 
Jeez. Violent. It's not even Halloween. Halloween. Okay, Mr. Like, or Miss, like, pulling a squirrel's, dead squirrel's tail That's off. That's cute, and, like, it's not that's, that's cute. cute. Oh. It's adorable. It's science. It's a child's curiosity just flourishing. Let me see what this tail is made of. Oh my god. Fur. It's science. <laughs> <laughs> it's science. <laughs> so, uh, good job, Frederick Hartson. Um, Finian, this one might might uh, hurt a little bit for some of you Arachne lovers. Can I play with you guys? Maybe next patch. So. Aww. <laughs> Aww, Aww, Arachne. Poor Arachne. Guys, just for you, I'm going to try on my free time to draw Arachne, a really sweet Arachne picture. I think we should do that for, for everyone who really wants to see Arachne get some loving. So yeah. we'll go ahead and do that. But I like her jersey. Really yeah. She has a little, cute a little green. It's, it's the Pantheon Roman. flag. It's awesome. Yeah. Really adorable, and it's a cute little chibi arachne. It's nice to see her with her hair up and and not so encrusted with spider bits. So, very cute. Good job, <laughs> fin Finian, Finian, fin fine Finian. Okay. Finian. Finian. Yeah. All right, Ego Pavlov, as you guys know, is the master of traditional artwork with colored pencils and everything, and he just, he is able to set up a scene so easily on paper, and this is great. This is actually one of the labors that we told you guys about. It was one of the challenges that was uh, an option for you. Mm -hmm. um, and this is Hercules uh, defeating the Hydra. <laughs> and this is this. I think you actually tweeted this at us, like the original sketch mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yep. And then asked for feedback from us, and and then I, you know, gave him some feedback, and the I can see, yeah, on the mountains, yep. and I can see that you actually like, you know, you did feedback. an excellent job. That one part towards the uh, towards the right, closest mm -hmm. to the black edge, that part is is just gorgeous with the yeah. shading and everything. So if you guys are Good working job. on art pieces and stuff like that, you can tweet at us, yeah. and we'll give you feedback and stuff like that. Tweet at me, bro. Tweet, tweet me your problems. Talk to me. What's going on at home? <laughs> we like seeing your Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Jack, right, Jack, please. Jack Meta. Jack. Um, this is horrifying because it's like, you know, it's it's a rabbit with boobs. Yeah. With short hair. Well, it, it's a male a male rabbit with boobs. Yeah, yeah, that's the even worse part. But it's still an yeah. interesting concept. It's switching up uh, a god's pet with, um, with them. Or maybe, so. maybe instead, because maybe that's a male Shanga carrying... The box. It looks like it because she's got uh, thick eyebrows, and thick yeah. eyebrows usually mean man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe yeah. they just does for me. They just like species love swapped. Thick eyebrows. Species swapped. <laughs> 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 I love the little carrots. I love the little design on, on her yeah. dress. On his dress. Um, this one's really cute and a very interesting um, concept. So thank you, Jack Mena. Jacob Platek, this really cute Freddy Krueger. Uh, Baka syrup. Bah, to hell with killing people in their sleep. I finally have a hand. Woo! He's so happy. I got a legit thrilled. chuckle out of this when this came in. Yeah, this is <laughs> I, I don't know why. I was like, oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. Probably his goofy cute. grin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, the, the, the character from Batman. The one that has like, a, it looks like a scarecrow, but it's not, and he has a candle. He's really creepy. Do you guys remember that? Oh, yeah, character? yeah, yeah. Night Storm something or, or whatever. I don't. It's that face. That face. Yeah. Good job, Jacob. No. Next. Whew. We have James no. McConville. He just went rough <laughs> no. with this one. This is Vamana as Chucky, as you can see up top there. Vamana as oh. Chucky. Up there, over there. Um, and this is just so frightening because all the detail is there. It's like the the gaping wounds with the stitches over them, um, and it still keeps that that Vamana face, that very childish Vamana face with the uh, the tats and everything like that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with like nope on this one. Nope. <laughs> you know really you've done cool. a good job with your fan art when you have both Kayla and Anna being yeah. noped out by the creepiness. Nope. This is, it's that stare, <laughs> bro. It's that stare. It's just like, lifeless. yeah, like I gotta stop looking at them. Yeah, they did an exceptional job on the eyes, and it's it's not even like it's just the shading. It's carrying into my soul. It's the shading, the yeah. uh, red outline around the uh, eye sockets mm -hmm. that just gives it such a creepy. It's like the same look. stare I, I give a piece of cake. <laughs> I'm about to kill it. So, fantastic, <laughs> James McConville. Good job. I don't even give cake a stare. I just eat it. Oh, I have to stare at it. I have to push myself up. It's like, you know, Super Saiyan, I have to be like, ah, I like usually yell for a good five episodes before I dive into a piece of cake. <laughs> no, the cake went stale. <laughs> no. Then she yells for another five episodes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, this one's by Jesus Fernandez. And this one's obviously from the card, from Zeus's card, but what's really cool is that this artist went ahead and gave it a pixely uh, thing to it by m going and, and getting every single... 
um, shading. Post rising, and, essentially. And, yeah, yeah. Thank you. They did, they did, they did like solid blockout shading and yeah, stuff like that. There's no blending of any of the colors. It's all like blockout, you know. But it's much cool. You could, you could lasso it out plain, and put like that uh, layered cell shading. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, a lightning it. bolt coming from his hand that he's charging up. That's. That looks awesome. Yeah, yeah, it does. Like the lighting and stuff. It's like a paint by fingers. numbers style thing, you mm -hmm. know, where like all the colors. That would stand be out. the yeah. most pain in the butt paint by numbers. Absolutely. We need to turn this into that. I've seen worse though. Yeah. That's I true. I've seen worse, yeah. like deer on a lake. Don't even. Oh my god, that's the worst thing to do. <laughs> so good job, Jesus Fernandez. Cool. Excellent job. Um, Jock Johansson. I think this was grid paper. Um, yeah, grid, grid paper. paper. On some sort of uh, this drawing must be program. A program specifically that has grid paper. Yeah, it's either like a program or like. I, I like thought it was like Google? alpaca, llama, or whatever. Alpaca. Fire alpaca. Fire alpaca. Wow, you really can't say that. Uh, I know. I don't so like know every time I say it, it's wrong. Fire alpaca. Fire alpaca. I have to like Fire. split it up real bad. I can say it like. Fire alpaca. Fire alpaca. You know what? Stop. Fire alpaca. What? So this like is. Gavin. This is a really great oh, I can't do that. I messed it up. Halloween Thanatos skin. <laughs> and the perspective is really cool on the things that he's holding out, his hand and then his scythe. Really yeah, it's awesome. a, it's a really an excellent chronos. I love yeah. it. And it does have to do with horror movies. Um Ichabod Crane and all that, Sleepy Hollow, so very relevant to the challenge. Thank you so much. I don't know how you do it so offhand. Like <laughs> I wouldn't be able to mix them up properly, like what? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Chronos? See? I don't how do you even do it? I don't we I messed have, it up. We should have like a little jingle for every time we do like some <laughs> hijinks. It's like ba da ba ba da ba ding, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then like Gavin going mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It'd be perfect. Andy, get on that if, if you're watching. Oh, um, so this one's really cool. Jock Johansson, really awesome. Thank you for this one. <laughs> Johanna Casperson, like we said, Chucky is blowing up on this challenge. But why wouldn't he? Chucky and Vamana, the, actually, the, the like main thing. Yeah, Vamana. Yeah. And, this is the nope. evil toy Vimana as nope. Chucky. Nope. Horrifying. Nope. Um, but really cool. Really well done. And I think there is a watercolor um, to this. It's a traditional art piece, but I can see like some of the bleeding of the uh, the colors. It might be watercolor. So you that's know really what creeps cool. me out the most about this? What? Is his mouth. Like those teeth. And the lips. Like this. It's, it's like he's like, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Give me a kiss. <laughs> 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 I've never seen the movies. Does he say that? Like I imagine. I've never would seen be the like, movies either. Me, give me a kiss. I've never, I've never seen <laughs> <it>. <laughs> what? something horrifying. Yeah. I don't know. All right, just cuddle me. Yeah. Just, just chill. Uh, Johanna Casperson Second drew piece. this really cool lost child hell as Samara. Um, I think from from uh, Silent Hill, right? Samara? No, no, no. That was someone else. Was I think it's Fear. Fear, is it? Samara, yeah, I think so. Samara? I, I, my sister played these first games, I did not. Okay. Chat, well, who's Samara? Who's Samara, <laughs> chat? Tell us about us. Okay. Well, while Jay you Tyler. do that chat, we're going to move on to the next yeah. one. John Vega, this really cool uh, Scylla. This one's just so amazing. The detail is, is so yes. cool, and it's so clean, too. It's incredibly yes. clean. And That's Scylla, it, yeah. um, they, they like took Three, Scylla wow. instead of like being more so cutesy off. and more childish. Yeah, she's a lot more mad looking. Yeah. Angry. She's a lot more hard and edgy. The ring. Fear it's is the all, but thank it's you. It's the ring? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Chad, we love you. I'm just basically, I don't know how I got Alma and Samara mixed up, but I guess they're kind of, uh, sort of. I was wondering, I was like, Samara is a really familiar name. I've heard that yeah. somewhere. Um, and it was like from a scary movie or something. But this Scylla, like, I it's love beautiful. the detail, like, all around the eyes specifically for the, the dogs. Because it gives them this, like, undead kind of, like, even more yeah. disgusting. Instead of just a glow, it's just a pure green. It's a lot of bags under the eyes, um, yeah. a reddish tint. Looks like decayed flesh. Yeah, yeah Ooh, I think uh, so the, the two favorite things I like about this a lot is the fact that the line art isn't black, that it's actually colored line art. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it really gives, it makes them like stand out. Oh, yeah. Like they, look yeah. More, they look more painted and more like 3D, I guess, yeah, yeah. than 2D. And I also really like, like the dog that's directly behind her. I really like the texture and stuff on his scales. Yeah. yeah, and all that. It's like, beautiful, I, and I, I also like texture. that um, she added some more wrinkles. It looks like they're severely growling instead of the other dogs where it's just like a plain, clean line showing their. Yeah, gums. and all the all the this teeth are kind of like, like jagged. And yeah, it's and it's stuff. ugly. Yeah. It's ugly and like fierce. You know? Ugly in a good way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good job, it's John. A good, Bain. ugly. We love your ugly piece of art. Bancroft's talent. Uh, this is really cool little three D model of Bancroft's talent. 
by Josh Duncan. I think it's really cool to see like the 2D item art get turned into 3D. Because you work on that. I yeah. Yeah, okay. so it's nice to see it come to life by someone else. That's true. It's true. <laughs> really cool. Good job, Josh Duncan. I like that galaxy picture you used for the background. Good job. As if I didn't know that, what that was, man. Watch Cosmos. I know. This one's my personal favorite. This Julia cool. Podoshova. She went ahead and gave us these really cool horror movie posters. Um, and they're they're not like iconic whatsoever. They're actually movies and, and a game that might not have been that popular. Like Mama, the Kronos one. That movie didn't make it big, but it was one of my favorites. And I love that she just went and, and made Chronos just severely Absolutely creepy. Absolutely terrifying. Just, yeah. just like the most like, creepy. Because that's what Mama was. Like, Mama yeah. was just like all bent out of shape and, and horrifying. Yeah, I never saw that one. Oh, it's a good movie. We'll Is watch it? it. Okay. And then we have Kali as Slender Man. Or Slender Lady. Slender God? Slender Goddess? Slender Person. Uh, and this is really creepy too, and the cool effect that every time you do see Slender Man in game, you're, you know, you're, it goes fuzzy, it goes into like white noise, so. I, I really like the trees in the background too. Yeah. It's a really cool effect that they got good. going on. So good job, very creative, and out of the box. Thank you for that, Julia Podashova. Hey, creepy. <laughs> Justin <laughs> Jones, this is completely different. This is uh, from one of the challenges from a while ago. It's a uh, hipster or modern. No, no, modern. Yeah, modern, yeah, yeah, modern yeah. Apollo, and uh, he's an art student, I guess. An art student. But I love his face, his little pouty face. It's he like does look like he's pouting. Somebody gave him like a B plus on an art project. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Aww. After he went to his professor oh, like a, a few <laughs> a few weeks earlier, asking for critiques, and the professor said, "Oh no, it's it's great." Yeah, you get a B plus. <laughs> what? <laughs> so upsetting. Good job, Justin Jones. This one's really cute. Oh, <gasps> Justin Redford, man after my own heart. This is just this is excellent. such a beautiful piece. From the feathering in the back to just that that beautiful glow of his scythe. This is um uh, this is this is uh, probably Grim. one of my favorite pieces. So Grim far. Kronos. Yeah, it is. So it is. Yep, just the Grim Reaper. Obviously, his face isn't showing. He doesn't have the faces all over him. It's more of a clean cut, uh, more serious. Thanatos, and, oh, it's yeah. and I like how the lighting is focused. It's like focused yeah. on the important details of him, and then on the tip of his weapon and stuff like that. Yeah. Like that's really like the key when you guys are lighting your pieces and stuff like that. Always make sure you have a light source, yeah. and always make sure that your strongest points of light on your drawings are the things and the details that you want to show off the most. Yep, it's so. beautiful. <laughs> it's so creepy. And yeah, guys, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. She it's a know. joke. Chat's going she know. It's a joke. She Hashtag and a jokes all the time, so why am I getting butt hurt about it? Hashtag. Oh, thank you, Smite Game Chat. I'm always bringing a smile to my face. What do you say? <laughs> all right. Um, so this one's by Kiwi Fish, and this is a really awesome little uh, uh, pencil Kui. drawing with, I think, some digital manipulation. Mm -hmm. And Zhong Kui looking kind of like guilty. Yeah, he he uh, does. He <laughs> looks like he just like stole a cookie from a cookie jar. Yeah. It's just like, what? That's the face I make when I steal things what? from Gabby. Well, like someone said something <laughs> like he was about to fall asleep and he heard something that he didn't really like. What was that? He was like, what? what? Yeah, like, excuse me? Uh, like, someone said <laughs> something say? awkward, or listen Somebody in on one of, Somebody probably said that Gavin's actually really funny or I heard and someone good fart guy, or something. Like, mm. Or yeah. listen in on one of Christina's yeah. conversations at work. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that yeah. would do it. High-res comma is just, like, it. the most hilarious person to listen to. And she, she means really everything is. she says, She's too. Hysterical. She just doesn't, she doesn't think about her wording before she says I love it. She has no filter. She's the best. She's wonderful. She's Next! Kyle Coons. Um, last time we, we saw a Kyle Coons piece, um, he gave us a, this same pixelated style, and he hadn't done that before, so I think now he's just like, hell yeah, that's what I'm doing. So this is really cool. It's Sobek. Neath is on top saying, go forward. And Sobek's like, man. <laughs> I like the little minion. The little minion on the tail. Yeah, just like poking a flag, and I'm like, ooh, you're mine. Oh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it's adorable. So good job, Calkins, and you really have a knack for this stuff because it's it's really cute. Mario Cristo, this really awesome skin for. Oh, who's that? Who is it? Isn't it? it looks like neat. Is it neat? Neat? No, it's got short hair. I always trust you. That's on definitely all neat your because that's got the Egyptian. She's a oh, hunter. Oh yeah, yeah, the, range, the thing. So. The and that's the uh, theme yeah. that Mario. Yeah. I believe Mario sent in the um, the Uller, the like modern day commando Uller. From last 
last week's show. Yeah. So I think he's just sticking on with that theme, doing this Arctic commando kind of style, uh, turning hunters into this more modern. Oh, that's right, the Uller and stuff like that. Yeah, that's yeah, it is neat. I got it. I got it. it guys. You do it. You I got, got it. See? I always trust your yeah. uh, your opinions. On I always God. trust your your opinion on hats. You always have the best hats. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So good job, Mario Cristo, <laughs> on this one. Um, then we have Marvin Hidalgo. This gorgeous Apollo. Hey, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> Handsome. Um, but it's really cute. Um, it's the shading's really well done, and just the very light pencils mm -hmm. on his hair uh, to to show the strands and everything. It's very cute. It's cute. It's cute. He's, He's so just cute. so handsome. And and Marvin, I see improvement in your artwork, sir. Yeah, we've been <laughs> like yeah, yeah we've sure. we've been seeing some serious Good job. Keep it up. Keep it up. For sure. Good job, Marvin Hidalgo. Um, Matthew Bania, this on her skin of him as um, soldier. For what, what was it? Soldier. Just a soldier. It was a skin. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember the title of this piece, unfortunately. But it's really cool. I think it might be no, not Chinese soldier. Something else. But either way, it's a really cool little design. And thank you for using that new logo. Hey. <laughs> oh man, I love you. That's like literally a shout out to Gavin. Yeah. Every time you use a new logo, <laughs> it Gavin is honestly happy. something that has been driving me absolutely insane. Every time you use the wrong <laughs> logo, Gavin dies a little inside. I'm already dead because of it, actually. Oh yeah. On the inside. Let's hope. Yeah, um, Gavin's so been dead from the first art show. No, Gavin's been dead since the first handshake. This <laughs> is like, I'm going to kill you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to quit my job now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So anyway, um, Mickey Mel, this really cool nemesis skin um, of her just like as a, as a warrior princess. Warrior princess. Well, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a steampunk. It's steampunk themed nemesis. Yep. Yeah. Really awesome, cool little details on the sword. A little gear on the end of the sword. And stuff yeah, like that. And I see like she's like half maybe half mechanical because she's got like the the torso part missing some pieces. And up so in, up in the forehead. very yeah. cute. Yeah. Who's the guy off screen? Please show him. He sounds cute. No, I. Okay. I don't. Ex I he's really. He's the cutest. Uh, and he's wearing. Him. He's wearing a pool floaty. Look at I mean, him. Long. That's Gavin, guys. I was here last week. We That's don't need Gavin. to. We honestly don't need to show me anymore. They yeah, have we a whole do. show. We always have to show you. All right. So good job, Mickey Mouse, with this one. Ollie Feist uh, gave us one of the best um, horror movie. Uh, drawings here, and it's uh, one good. of the Titans as the Shining Twins. That is so good. Come play with us. Really, really great idea. Yeah. Like, yeah. that was, that's so spot on. I would have never, like, if I was trying to do this challenge, I would have never, this would have been, like, my last guess. Yeah, yeah and using things that, like, aren't really the gods, like, using the NPCs well, Also, the Shining, else. if, in, in the general demographic of the game, it's it's a lot of younger kids, and the Shining's an it's, older yeah, film. To see somebody actually do the Shining, which is, like, a, a horror movie staple. Yeah. It's it's insane. Like, mm -hmm. it's really impressive. And Plus, I just it's like, even creepier now. With like, it's yeah. they're the titans of order too. So it's like you just made it's, this like it's symbolic in a way. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. I really like how he took the uh, the logo style, the font, yes. and he put it for The Shining. That's Perfect. really awesome. I was gonna say that, but yeah, yeah. it's done. Great it's job, done. great detail, Ali Feist. You killing it, bro? Killing it. <laughs> and how we're talking about <laughs> The Shining, we have. Particia Fabica. So sorry. Or just call um, party. Party? Oh, party! <laughs> party Fabicia. Fabica. Fabica. Just party. Wow. Party. Need party is just kill it. He is terrified. Chucky. This is so good. Oh, I love is terrified. It. I'm so glad we got this too. Like we there were there were so many opportunities we had and the Giant headed chalk is actually the best. Yeah, mm. it's fantastic. <laughs> if if there's somebody that's like perfect for this kind of drawing, it's chalk because he has the giant axe. And if you remember, <laughs> Jack Nicholson was like, "Ooh, I'm gonna axe this door down." You guys know it. If not, go watch the movie. And, and the shadow on his right. face too, really good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excellent job. He looks. He, you you really got the look of insanity on. I just he like does. His, his face. Like his face is actually just like chill. He's just like. Yeah, you know, to me it seems that way. He's just like, I'm gonna kill you. He just looks thrilled to yeah. get to murder somebody. <laughs> no, for <Like>. real. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Peter Kochewski. This is just a nice, simple Al Kwong piece. I think it might be digital. I think yeah, it is digital, and it's just really cute. It's soft. It has a very soft it feel is very to soft. it. It's very soft. 
the the hair, his hair is flowy and gorgeous. It is it's not it's really constrained to those uh, very cartoony okay. edges that he usually has. It's just more realistic and, and very cute. I keep saying cute. Everything's cute. Everything's badass. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Switching it to badass. <laughs> All right. Yes, this uh, one. I can't wait. Can we do that? Oh. I'm really uncoordinated. What is it? There you go. I love how you took <laughs> you took Emma's artwork for the art show's YouTube oh, yeah, video. Oh yeah, Martin Kelly. Yeah. And then you threw it in there. And then you made a what is he doing? Pixel Janice just going, <laughs> going Kelly's nuts. Voice. What is he doing? I don't know. <laughs> Spot on for both exactly of them. Exactly what Bart I sit like. next to them. They're going to beat me up. Oh. So this is by Rasmus S.A. And uh, I think he pixelated the, um, the the lights and then Janice and everything. And it's just really cool little design <laughs> for, for Janice. And also his dance moves are fantastic. That's about how I dance. Really yeah, is. I've seen it. It's like glorious. Like two moves maybe? So glorious. It's like staring at a sunset. <laughs> It's romantic, really. <laughs> Next. Anyway, um, Reen Abara gave us this frightening rendition of, um, of Little Red Riding Hood, and it's Scylla. One head is peeking in the door, probably killing Grandma. Help. Help. And it's in the woods, and it's just, it's very frightening. <laughs> For it, it, with its simplicity, it's just very frightening. The, the woods and everything, no, it doesn't really resemble trees, it's just sticks. Trying to decide if that's like a blood moon or like a sunset sun. I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Have you I noticed that the dog's eyes are bleeding? No. That is terrible. No. Is this it? by Renee Barra and oh, yeah, yeah. you, you, my lady? Scylla looks like she's out to cut someone. Like, yeah, for real. Her face. There's like a pool of blood over there. Oh! <laughs> this, is, this is horrifying. <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah, it is is really oh. breaking it down. Oh no, it's um, so What's that? Wait, wait, wait. What's that over there by the tree? By oh. the tree? That's a that's a body. That's a that's a limb. <laughs> it's just chilling. <laughs> Listen, I was just paying attention to my arm and it's gone. <laughs> it's just done. Gone. I'll never look at my arm ever again. Hold <laughs> on, Granny. Oh my god. No chat. <laughs> very, yeah, very modern. It is kind of modern, isn't it? Oh, the trees just being like cutting off. There. No leaves or anything, so. <laughs> uh, Richard Lindgren, this one's actually really awesome. This is Nemesis skin of Silent Hill as Pyramid Head. Pyramid Head is probably one of the creepiest characters I've ever god, seen. God, that scene with the. Sh whoop! <laughs> <laughs> you guys know which scene I'm talking about, right? Whoop! Like, sh <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, totally. <laughs> That's like the worst <laughs> scene ever. I was not expecting that when I watched that movie for the first time. I was like, oh, he's kind of cute. Oh, oh <laughs> not so much anymore. <laughs> so, uh, Richard Lindgren, thank you for, for terrifying us deeply. Wow, well, this next piece is amazing. Epic <laughs> wits. In a, in a, you know, that's really rude, okay? Because, uh, you know, Ricky Peterson here uh, spent a long time making this. Yeah, and, like, fulfilling your troll from last yeah. week. Thank you. Kayla wasn't Thank here, so but she still managed to troll Anna from chat. It was wonderful. Because you're awesome. You're amazing. Thank you. It really, like, I saw this and I was like, this is why I love what I do. You want to like, you wanna send this me your home address? I, I want to send morning. you a thank you note. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? <laughs> yeah? No, I'm kidding. It's actually um, really awesome. Anna's not, not a fan. Anna, can you tell me your favorite part about this piece? Um, when we go to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's a, it's a very cute. Good job. Really, the, the rune though, right I there. I would love. I would actually true. love to see somebody like do a, a My Little Pony version of all the gods, all the animal gods. All right, guys, really you fun. heard it from Inna herself. Uh, she's asking for it. herself. I'll see it, you know, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. She, you heard it. Whatever. Do a My Little Pony. Go nuts. She won't Can you cringe. Make, I won't no, 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 no. I got some better. Can you make God. Inna into a My no, Little Pony? No, 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 yep, no, no, yep, no. Yep, That's yep, where yep. I draw the line. You Please. do that, and I, I quit. I'm out. The Please Beale, you're in chat. I, I promise you, it will go on the show. If you yep. Oh, uh, no. You guys are the worst. All right, moving on. We have Sandro Shard, who gave us this such a beautiful rendition of Al Kwong just chilling and hanging out. It's very Adventure Time-ish because of his length and everything, and the lines super are super elegant. Yeah, super noodly, too. Yeah. Super, super noodly. God, I really want noodles. But I love that the use of simple lines on top of these kind of like freeform colors to give everything kind of a lot more form. Yeah. And I like that um, the only really like um, bright colors that stand out are his. Um, all the other colors are just kind of chill. 
Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it really makes sure that he doesn't get lost in the picture. Yeah, it's gorgeous. But the bright red is actually what helps contrast from the other pieces or the other the lo- other lines. So good job, Sandro Shard. He's actually very super. His length. <laughs> His length. <laughs> Oh no! Our JM003 was like my little Enna. <laughs> <laughs> How dare Fantastic. you? Fantastic. Oh, free gems for Enna Pony. Oh, good God. No. Let's start it. I love you. Um, I love you, chat. This one is to do with the challenge, as you can tell. And this is from uh, Hannibal Lecter. It's from Silence of the, the Lambs. Sarah Leffler. And she decided to give good old Artemis this treatment. Frightening. Creepy. Yeah. And also, like, a random god to do it for, because, like, you would think it'd be some, uh, it'd be more of a god that eats a lot. Bacchus, right? Like, yeah, something like that, but it's, it's Artemis. Like, Bacchus being like, I yeah. ran out of ham, I'm just going to eat people now. Oh, uh, well, you know, I'm a cannibal now. <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> and it should be voiceovers what? for every single movie. I should, right? <laughs> every time we have a new god, they should call me over and be like, Anna, we just need the most random, okay, I'm here. I'm going to destroy you, to you. Um, so good job. It's very unique too. The fact that you you chose Artemis to uh, resemble Hannibal Lecter. Interesting. Good job. Next, <laughs> Sarah Rudder gave us something really new this time, and it's hell. It's dark hell. And not awesome. Freya. She always does Freya, and she does it very well. But it's nice to see her kind of uh, go away from her comfort zone and do a completely different god. And I like dark hell. I like dark hell a lot. Oh yeah, love dark hell. And she still maintains that quirky comic book um, face that she Yeah, she so still lovely. definitely has a very specific style. She does. It's and I was cute. beginning to really hope to see something different because we had seen a lot of Freya in the same style. Hamasura should be a skin, a big ham hock running around <laughs> shredding people. <laughs> yes, that's... <laughs> that's amazing. That is actually amazing. It would make me hungry, though, playing, <laughs> playing the game. Sean Matson, as you guys know, uh, one of the bigger releases in, in movie... Um, world was um, The Fault in Our Stars, which is that movie that's based on the book, and it's like cancer kids, and it's just, it'll make you cry, and it's very sad. Um, and somebody decided to go and, and do that, and it's actually really cool. They took uh, a so young sad. Vulcan and made so him the, the lead guy, and they took Neith and made her the lead girl. So, really awesome. And actually, OK is um, an inside thing with the, the readers of the book and the movie. That, that would be another fun challenge idea, too. They smite characters in a in movie or a book poster. Sorry. Oh yeah, that would be really cool. Ooh, ooh, a That's movie a poster. Good idea. That would yeah. be Oh yeah, a movie poster? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like it. What's what's happening? Okay. okay. I'm gonna just reach around and we're gonna yeah, go to the next you. one now. High five. I need the a high five. five. Can you call me? That's like a low five though. Don't you touch my keyboard again. You can touch my All keyboard. right, Skyflu gave us this really... Oh, what did you do? You're not allowed to touch my keyboard again. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> we touched it. Things happened. Can you please? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Stay in your Alquang. What did you hit? Goodness. <laughs> God, I wish we had a pool so I could throw you in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All let's right. talk about um, Skyflu's Sky Agni. This has such an ambient tone to it because not only do you have a really excellent detail on um, Agni, but the the floor is fantastic. It's magma and it's it's crazy. It's creaking and or it's like cracked and everything. So the tone of the piece is really um, is really good. Uh, the background really helps set the tone. I really like how um, the metal shading and stuff like that. You did a good job with the different textures. Yeah. Oh yeah. For real. From the fire to the metal. To the I also like how background. super detailed he is, but then the fire on his hands, it's super simple. Yeah, it's just like a nice gradient. But yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. Really awesome. <laughs> it reminds me of the fire I do for the lore, because I love drawing fire. If you fire guys know the lore, and oh. I just always do like lines and then gradient. Yeah. That's it. That's awesome. <laughs> so, good job, Sky Flu. Um, those pectorals look fantastic. Next. Um, Sony Robinson. Another horror movie, or, well, no, horror game, uh, Slender Man. Slender? <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. I get it. Do you get it? I get it. I get do you it. get it, guys? I do. Do you get it, though? <laughs> guys, do you get it? No. All right. I don't get it. Well, it's too bad. Um, but this is Scylla as Slender Man, uh, hence the blank face, because blank face is Cylinder. what he does. Cylinder. Cylinder. Oh, God <laughs> says shapes. Um, so yeah, good job, Sonya Robinson. <laughs> Spencer Cowley. This one's really cool because I don't think we've seen um, oil pastels. 
which so, are really annoying for me to work with. Yes, I actually, I, I hate the feeling. I smudge the crap out of them, too. I hate I the feeling, feeling of them. I, like, it's like, ugh. I love it. It's like, you it's also like, like a taking melty crayon. Tails no, like, swirls, like, so. like charcoal and pastels, like, I get that stuff on my hands, and I'm like, I need to wash I them. prefer that over, like, charcoal, which makes this irritating noise on paper. It's like, <laughs> Like the vine <laughs> charcoal, the really skinny kinds, like, <gasps> nails on charcoal. <laughs> oh, I hate it so much. <laughs> but this is uh, actually the Loki skin. Um, so, good job. So about to cut someone. About to cut someone. Finna cut whole face. Um, okay. Oh, God. Stephen Brule last week gave us, um, Bacchus, or, or no, Bacchus. Bacchus. Bacchus, not Bacchus, Sura. And, uh, it's, it's kind of, I think it's on something like, um, like a, a 3D kind of program. Yeah, either it looks ZBrush, like you can do in ZBrush. Yeah, either ZBrush or, or Sculptress. <laughs> but this is just horrifyingly good it's well, it's, it's definitely great. apollo and it's also terrifying <laughs> it's <Yeah>. definitely apollo <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's your reaction it's like what <laughs> lol what <laughs> lol <laughs> help <laughs> so, my first thought don't worry Sam, Steven, my first you need thought to, was i need an adult like, you need to give us like <laughs> Speed painting <laughs> versions of this, so we can see. Yeah, your I would really, method. I would really like to see the process. I would love to yeah. see the process because it's, it's, I don't know, I I can't really put words to it. Yeah, it's it's we, down to like <laughs> the needed. little eyes to the protruding cheekbones of death to the large to flat pink that, nipples. That hand that's that looks like it's just turning into a dagger, and yeah, just like it looks like a paintball gun went off on your <laughs> on your boobs. They were just like, you need nips. <laughs> yeah, like, crazy. I can't tell if he's smiling or not. Like, I'm really confused. <laughs> I don't know if he's feeling like, what, I don't know what he's feeling. Me. I don't know. I don't want to know what he's feeling. What is he <laughs> feeling? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? Oh, God. All right. Chat, please. Chat, please. Oh, yes. Chat, I love you so much. <laughs> All right. Uh, Trent and Collins going from something... Like that to something completely different. This is a traditional piece different. of the wards. Wards win wars by ward bonds. This is uh, taken from old, I think either 40s style um, war propaganda posters. I think it's yeah, yeah. I think it's 40s. So good job and very interesting, Trenton Collins. Thank you. Vincent Menhut. This isn't. This is more of a photo manipulation, but it's hysterical because we just released uh, raw. Um, Romerica. The, the Romerica Romerica skin. So it's really nice that we did one for Guan Yu. Well, you know, that he did one for Guan Yu. <laughs> and his staff is just a giant <laughs> hand. I love it. That's my favorite part. Uh, I'm actually laughing more because I looked back at the slide of Apollo. I can't. <laughs> 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 I just it brings so much joy. <laughs> it's even good in like a time. So of much joy. It's insane. <laughs> um, so yeah, this one's a, it's, it's a photo manipulation, but... It's a very Ew. unique and creative photo Ew. manipulation. So, good job, Vincent Men Hoot. It's a hoot. Oh God. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry. And Your boys. weekly way This is my favorite part of the week, guys. <laughs> Look this how is. excited he is! He's so, just, let me look oh, at come on. the spaghetti noodles. Okay, excited. I'm sorry, I'm Be pumped. Excited. I'm pumped. He's so he excited. Is. He's um, like sitting here like a little kid. He like does. on Christmas morning. <laughs> He's insane. And then I crush his <laughs> dreams on Christmas down. morning. I'm like, nope, you don't get to play with your toys. <laughs> Those um, toys are for you, Gavin. It's just silly. <laughs> oh, God, memories. Um, Willie was so. out this week. Um, oh, no, he's here in chat. But he said he didn't have. He, he wasn't gonna have time uh, last week to do it this week. So he submit, submitted it like <laughs> that Friday. Yeah. Willie, I'm glad you sent this in. Yes. It makes me so happy. I, really I just wish like my those arms little could spaghetti. Do that. Yeah. I wish my arms <laughs> could do that. Arms. My arms do do that if somebody gives me a cookie. I'm just like. Yes. I had no like bones. Like. It's like wait, wait. <laughs> All right, we gotta do. We gotta do like a wave. Like start off here. Right, uh, okay, okay, hold on. Ready, right, 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 right. Right, wait, wait, get it, get it. Yay! Yeah. Thing. <laughs> yeah. That whole thing was just one arm. <laughs> just one arm. So, uh, really that was for cute. you, Willie. That was for you. Really All right. You. So, we have the top picks of the week. You win 600 gems if you do that. You win an additional 200 gems if you followed our challenge. But let's talk oh, about snap. this week's challenge. What you guys will be doing for the next week if you so choose. Yep. Uh, 
Anna, would you like to tell them? Please All right, guys. Us. This week's challenge is actually given to us by the darling Steve Sketches. He was so kind to give us a, a slew of really interesting challenges. Your challenge this week is draw your favorite god with their pet. Not saying they have one, but, you know, make one if up had, that if fits them if, best. like, this god had a pet, what... Yeah, what would be the most fitting pet for Thank them? Thank you, Gavin, you for repeating even. what I just said. Hey, you know well, what, Well, no, something else you could even do, guys, like, <laughs> no. you could look into the lore and the story of the god, and if they have, like, a real, oh, like, yeah. mythological creature or something that, oh, yeah. that is Like, Hercules that lore, could have, like, a really cute little hydra puppy. Yeah, exactly. Like, you could or do stuff lion. like that. Yeah, and obviously Artemis would have her boar, but if not, look into the lore, and that's always a good source of info for yeah. Although Artemis kind of might be one of those crazy pet people who have, like, a ton. She is, like, a legit hunter. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. so. Draw her Snow White with all that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's perfect. Oh, my gosh. But, yes, that is your challenge for the week. That's yes. your challenge, guys, and we will be posting it on Twitter and on Smite Art Show um, yes. on Twitter so you guys can get a full dose reminder of, of what you need to do. And so... And also, guys, if you guys have challenge ideas or any other ideas for the art oh, show, yes. tweet them at You can put it, post on the art forum, tweet on the official me. Smite forum, so you can also post on Twitter and stuff to us as well. Exactly. Oh, yeah. We like you back. All right, guys, so now we're going to go into the top picks of the week. It's yep. not three anymore. It's six because Gavin gave up trying to tell us what to do. I, yeah, I don't think we have, like, a specific topic. No, it's just whatever anymore. we like the yeah, most. Yeah, it's just, just whatever like, the ones we like uh, the most. Yeah, that was cool. All right. So, you guys ready? Top picks of the week, go. Anita Gorniak. This one is just, it's really cool. We don't have to tell you guys why. We already told you. It's fantastic. Good job. Nope. Next. Nope. Nope. Yes, nope. a bunch of notes. <laughs> Annie V with this piece. Really, uh, the birds. really Not creative. The really creative. And awesome that you uh, you took this reference. Because the birds action. isn't necessarily a movie that pops into people's minds when they think But it is, it is one of the, like, the, the horror most movies uh, and like very iconic. Yeah, from back in the oh day. Oh man, you know what? One would have been cool to see is like the movie Arachnophobia. Oh Arachne. man, with Arachne. Oh, oh man, oh, that been but no one's that playing her. A lot of drawing. Yeah, but nobody's oh, playing. No one's playing her, so no, none of the artists are thinking oh, about her. No. Maybe next patch. We gotta draw Arachne though for the viewers, because yeah. everyone for for those Arachne lovers, we're well. gonna draw a picture of her for you guys. <laughs> next, Cher Shen with Artemis and uh, her little Tusky. boyfriend. Tusky, her Tusky, large, Tusky. swole boyfriend. Large, swole boyfriend. Uh, this, guys, you already know why this is just top. It's yeah, this really, yeah we pretty we got into it pretty hard it's when gorgeous. we were on mm -hmm. this piece earlier. But yeah. Damn. Yep. Next. John, John Vega. Vega. The Scylla, the hard, edgy Scylla. It's perfect. Instead of making her like super cutesy, she's just like hard and, and seasoned. From killing people. <laughs> See it on her Do you face. know how many lives I've ended? Ugh. I don't. I can't count that high. <laughs> I remember all the bodies I saw lying there around me in Grenada. <laughs> 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 so all right. And next, Julie we have Potoshova. Yeah. Killing it as always. The movie poster, movie I mean, and game poster good for though. Mama and Slender with um, Phantos. I don't know why you wrote the Kronos. Um, and yeah, it's obviously a misspelling. Yeah, clearly. But it's, well, that's why this time. Yeah, well, it's like just this once, guys. So, yeah, good job. Nope, nope, I got to touch it. Oh, uh -huh. I'm going to kill you. Uh, Justin Rebert, of course. The Grim Reaper Thanatos. Gorgeous. I love Amazing it. lighting. And yeah. just eerie. The mood overall is just eerie. His weapon, though. Ooh, that weapon, that weapon. This weapon is good. Gorgeous. Justin Redberg, how are you, sir? This is fantastic. And Ever. finally. Ollie Feist, the Shining Twins. Come play with us as the Titan. Or the Titan, the as Titan the, of Order. Yeah, yeah, Titan of Order as the uh, the Shining Twins. Fantastic, guys. All right, and that's, that's about that's it. That's it. You guys, so thank you so much for all your submissions. Once again, yes. we had an uh, just unbelievable amount of submissions for this A week. Lot. So we keep getting keep more and more every single week. And uh, just so you guys know, we will be picking back up with warm-up sketches yes. as the schedules change and everything like that. So don't worry. We will be back on that drawing game. We have a so lot of really cool things planned for you guys. So thank you so much so for much. tuning in to us every week. Like, we really, really appreciate it. Thank and, you so uh, much, guys. We're going to drop stream for uh, Dry Bear to pick up. And, and now he's got... <gasps> A big go. announcement! Big old announcement. Yep. So, yeah. Thanks getting, for joining us, guys. He's forehead shrinking surgery. I hope Aww. not, because that forehead's wonderful. It is. It's iconic. I love it. It really is. I like to draw it. It's huge. <laughs> so, think. What? What, Gavin? I'm just shaking. Can you shut Why? your mouth? All right. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later. <laughs>